native in tonight's Black History Month report. Yeah, he was a standout college athlete, becoming the university's first black football player. And as KETV News Watch 7's Quinicia Fraser reports, he went on to be a champion for civil rights. He's our project community report from Polk County. You can learn a lot about Stromsburg, Nebraska's history in the town library. I just love history and knowing about your family history and genealogy. And you can say library director Lauren Osberg knows a thing or two about her genealogy. Her great great aunt was the second wife of George Flippin, the first black man to play football for the University of Nebraska. They had to get married in Logan, Iowa because it was illegal at the time for interracial marriage in Nebraska. George joined the Nebraska football team way back in 1891, before they were the Huskers, Dr. Lawrence Chatters with the university's athletic department says George made a name for himself during his second season. The big first game of the year was Illinois, and Illinois had won their state championship back then, um, and Nebraska went in the underdog, and the bug eaters prevailed, and George Flippin was a major part of that. And while his teammates embraced him, they would not uh, allow him to be let left out. Not everyone else was as welcoming. Missouri refused to play Nebraska because George was on the team. We have to learn from his success and all the things that he went through, and we have to keep moving forward. And George kept moving forward, finishing medical school at the University of Illinois in Chicago. So many people got his care and were taken care of him, taken care by him as a doctor. He followed in his father's footsteps, Dr. Charles Flippin, a freed slave who fought for the Union in the Civil War, then opened the first hospital in Stromsburg. This former hospital now sits at 8th and Main Streets, but people here in town tell me that the hospital was moved from a different part of Stromsburg next to the library. One Stromsburg resident who knows that and a whole lot more this story needed to be told. Is 78-year-old Kathy Nelson. And I went through all the old newspapers and made copies of all the articles. After 10 years of research, Nelson published her book in 2014, More Than Football, George Flippin's Stromsburg Years. And I have a chapter on that underlying sense of racial tension here. She believes George may have filed the first civil rights lawsuit in Nebraska. In 1912, he sued a York cafe for telling him he'd have to eat in the kitchen while his white friends could eat at their table. He fought that racism. A lower court found the cafe guilty, but a higher court overturned that. Still, George kept fighting for racial equality. George Flippant spent some time as a speaker. Um, on the Negro problem. Decades before Martin Luther King's words changed history, George had this to say at a church in Lincoln. All we ask is the enforcement of the laws as they are, the right and opportunity to stand or to fall as we deserve. And we would demand that public sentiment recognize the majesty of the mind and not the color of the face. Words that will forever be remembered in the small town of Stromsburg. Quinicia Fraser, KETV Newswatch 7. Quite a legacy. Kathy Nelson is receiving hospice care. She hopes to live to see the University of Nebraska make George Flippin an honorary graduate.